हाय हेलो नमस्ते माय नेम इज अभिषेक पाठक दिस इज डॉट नेट पूव पार्ट नाइनटीन टिल नाउ आई हैव रिकॉर्डेड एटीन वीडियोस एंड दोज एटी वीडियोस कंटेन एटी क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन पूव्स इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर विद प्रैक्टिकल एज यू कैन सी दिस डॉक्यूमेंट कंटेन्स ऑल द क्वेश्चन विच आई ऑलरेडी कवर सो लाइक इन डॉट नेट पूव पार्ट वन पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री पार्ट फोर एंड टेल last video i covered 80 videos so if you guys want to clarify earlier videos or earlier question you can watch earlier videos as well so in this video i'll cover few important interview question on destructor so in last video i explain uh, about uh, constructor so we recorded uh, lots of videos on constructor and in this video uh, we'll see the interview question on constructor so let's read out the first question what is destructor so destructor uh, what is destructor then can we have access modifier in destructor can we have parameter in destructor so let's find out the answer what is destructor so a destructor runs after a class becomes unreachable it has the special symbol character in its name so that is known as a tilde sign as you can see uh, this is the one image where i have created one class and it has got construct uh, destructor also okay so uh, to understand destructor let's uh, do one thing let's create the console application and in console application we'll see how we can create the destructor so here we'll have one class public class employee and uh, let's create the constructor and uh, let's create the destructor so how we can create the destructor using this symbol tilde symbol okay so when we use this this is a destructor okay and uh, okay so we saw what is destructor and how we can define the destructor and this is the example of destructor as well so let's uh, print the message so this is the constructor and uh, here destructor okay so this is destructor and uh, let's read out the second question can we have a access modifier in destructor means like uh, this constructor has public access modifier can i define here public okay as i uh, type public it's giving me error if i build the application it is going to uh, show me the error okay the modifier public is not valid for its term so it will give me error okay so the answer of this is no we can't have access modifier in destructor can we have parameter in destructor so like uh, as we saw in last videos we can have parameterized constructor similarly can we have parameterized destructor let's define it a and uh, let's uh, build the application so it's giving me error because destructor can't have parameter it, it is always a parameter less so the answer will be no uh, we can't have parameter in destructor okay next question how many destructor can we have in one class like we defined here one destructor can i define one more destructor here okay and let's build the application the answer is no we can have only one destructor we can't have more than one destructor here can we define destructor in uh, struct uh, data type so as you guys know that uh, that uh, struct is a data type if we define any integer a and if i say f12 so as you can see it is a destruct uh, struct and we can't have uh, con destructor in uh, struct so the answer is no we can't have do we have any control when destructor will be called so for this uh, let's read out the uh, answer the programmer has no control over when the constructor is called because this is determined by the garbage collector the garbage collector uh, checks the object that are no longer being used by the application if it is considered an 
eligible for destruction it cause the destructor and reclaim the memory used to store the object destructor are also called when the program exits means uh, destructor are also called when we close the application and this definition i have uh, uh, collected from this slide that is a msdn so if you read it read out this one okay so the programmer has no control over uh, uh, when the destructor is called because this is determined by the garbage collector so the answer will be okay so the answer will be uh, no do we always need to implement the destructor uh, like uh, if i delete this or if i comment this and if i build the application so build will be successful there won't be any error because it is not mandatory to define the destructor because what happens if you de uh, don't define the destructor it is uh, garbage collector automatically collects the memory for uh, classes so we don't need to we don't need to uh, create the destructor okay uh, last one when we define destructor which method of garbage collector is called means uh, which method of uh, destruct uh, which method of garbage collector is called if you guys know there are two methods garbage collector use one is dispose and another is finalize okay so when uh, we define destructor internally it calls the finalize method okay so finalize method is being called by uh, garbage collector so in uh, maybe in up future video i'll explain what is dispose and finalize and uh, what is garbage collector but for now um, just understand that when we define destructor garbage collector calls finalize itself so that is the implicit call by garbage collector and the method will be finalized okay and uh, okay and one more thing i want to explain here uh, so do we have any control when destructor will be called we don't have any control but there is one method if we use that method automatically destructor will be called and how we can uh, how i can show you that practical so let's uh, do one thing let's create one more class here public class super admin super admin and this has two method one is uh, constructor uh, sorry it has constructor as well as destructor how can we define the destructor using tilde sign then use the class name and like this and let's print the message here so base class constructor base class constructor and uh, this is destructor okay so this is uh, destructor destructor okay these are two methods and uh, let's write child class child class okay now let's inherit the class super admin yeah now let's create the employee is equal to uh, So let's print the message prior to that. Uh, constructor is creating. Constructor is being created, and here we can say destructor is called this destructor is called. And to hold the application, let's write the console dot read line. Okay. And uh, prior to that, how we can call the uh, destructor using this gc dot collect? Let's run the application. So constructor is being called. So first base class constructor, child class constructor, destructor is called. Okay. 
so if I say a is equal to null and let's run the application again so as you can see destructor is called child class uh, destructor and base class destructor so using this gc dot collect we can call the destructor okay so these are the question let's recap what is destructor so destructor is what a uh, destructor runs after a class becomes unreachable it has the special till character in its name second one was can we have access modifier in destructor the answer is no can we have parameters in destructor the answer is no how many destructor we can have in one class the answer is one uh, we can say one destructor can we define destructor in struct data type the answer is no do we have any control when destructor will be called the answer is no but we can use gc dot collect okay just now we saw that do we always need to implement the destructor the answer is no it's not mandatory when we define destructor which method of garbage collector is called the finalize and the gc garbage collector has two method dispose and finalize so that's it from my video please subscribe the channel if you have any questions suggestion please uh, mail me or you can give me a comment and as, as always thanks for watching my video goodbye